Today I'm going to talk to you about the dress code, and I'm sure that many of you have heard me rant about this before because it's something that I do have a big problem with. Um, and so to start off, this is a picture of me <laughs> when I was, I think I was a freshman or a sophomore, I'm not sure, I don't remember the year. Um, I was dress coded in around May because my shorts were too short and they made me change into these boys basketball shorts and I looked like a fool. <laughs> and um, obviously I was super embarrassed and I didn't want to go to class like that and I couldn't just take the shorts off because they recognized me, they knew if, they would notice if I had taken them off. And so I just went home. I just didn't go to school for the rest of the day. At least you're modest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is important. Um, but yeah, and I'm not the only person who has a story like this where I was, you know, humiliated by the dress code. So for example, when I was interviewing a couple of students, uh, Lexi Zollinger, as many of you know, and I asked her if I could share her name, and she said it was okay. Um, she was dress coded by one of her uh, male teachers um, in the middle of class, and instead of sending her down to the office, which is typical procedure, he um, made her change into a big orange t-shirt that went down to like her knees, and he did it in front of the whole class, and he made like a big show. And so she was super embarrassed, obviously, because he was in, uh, made her go in front of the class and put on this big t-shirt just because he thought her shorts were too short. And then there's another student, um, Kenzie Connolly, who was dress coded by a male employee because she wasn't wearing a bra. And this case is specifically disturbing because in the actual dress code, as you can find in the student handbook, there's nothing that says female students have to wear bras when they're at school. But he felt like it was inappropriate and told her that she had to do something about it, which is kind of ridiculous because it's not like the office has bras for people to change into. They don't just have those on hand. And so she just went home. Um, and there's a lot of students who have stories like this. So I want to ask you guys if, to raise your hand if you, if you or someone you know has been dress coded. And keep your hand raised if that person you know is a girl. Yeah, so everyone's hand stayed up, right? So that's the problem that's been happening at the school is that typically when we're seeing kids get dress coded, it's female students. And um, this is a trend that is, has been a real problem for female students. And when asking, when doing a poll on Twitter and um, asking if students agreed or disagreed with the dress code, 70% said they disagreed. And even though this was only 100 votes, I'm willing to bet that this is pretty reflective of how most of the students feel. Um, and then there was a comment from, again, Lexi Zollinger, and she said, I consider the dress code to be geared towards women and girls. It's insulting, and my biggest problem with it is in consideration for student education. Being penalized for dress code interrupts student learning and class time. And um, I really agree with this comment, because when female students are made to leave class or kept from going to class because they have to change their clothes, that's not only interrupting their class time, but it's interrupting the rest of the class. So. The system that we have for currently dress coding is um, a real problem, especially when it comes to education. So the reason why this um, is especially troubling is because in the actual student dress code, in the written language, um, girls are targeted. It says, students shall not wear clothes that are mutilated, cut off, or immodest, short sh shorts, mini skirts, bare midriff, halter tops, spaghetti straps, tank shirts, or similar clothing. It also mentions cleavage, skirts, and dresses. So when it mentions specific body parts that um, girls have, it's clear that this dress code was wit written for female students. And um, it's not because female students are the only ones who wear inappropriate clothing, right? Like there's, there are plenty of examples of male students wearing inappropriate clothing as well. It's just that they're not penalized for it. Um, and so my suggestion for this is to um, just change the language of the dress code because right now if a female student is dress coded because Her shirt is too low. She can't fight that. She can't say I'm being dress coded because of my gender Because it's written in the language So if the language was changed to be gender neutral Then female students would have grounds female and male students if they felt like they were being dress coded because of their gender They would have grounds to fight it because right now um, <coughs> it's because of the language, female students are allowed to be targeted. Um, so, and when it comes to the funding, I think that the $300 budget could go towards buying new clothes for students to change into when they break the dress code. Because in my example, 
I was um, put in these big basketball shorts, right? And that's clear that, like, that makes it clear I've been dress coded, and that's kind of humiliating. So I think that um, using the $300 budget to buy clothes that don't create a clear indication that a student has been dress coded would um, be a really valuable thing to put the money towards because that way the students aren't embarrassed if they are dress coded, but they're still being following the dress code, right? Which is important. Every school has a dress code. Um, and also having clothing in multiple sizes so that like students can feel comfortable wearing the clothes and stuff that isn't like obviously huge and oversized. Um, yeah, so basically just in conclusion, I think that the dress code has been a real problem and I know that a lot of students have an issue with the dress code, specifically female students, and that really comes down to the fact that female students are the only ones getting dress coded. Um, so changing the language to make it gender neutral would help avoid this problem. Obviously, it's not gonna fix it because of existing bias in our society. There's still gonna be some teachers who feel like dress coding female students is warranted um, more than it would be for boys. But I think that changing the language would just um, maybe make it a little bit better and also give female students a reason to fight the dress code if they feel like it's unjust. Thank you. Thank you.